Welcome, Cancer. These are angel messages. These messages are for November 25th through December 2nd, 2023. I'll never DM you, ask you for money, or solicit you. And be sure to follow me here and on all my other social media platforms. And let's get into this reading for you. This is definitely going to be um, what's coming for the week or what type of energy is surrounding you and what do you need to know. Let's start with the tarot. So I feel like with Four of Swords, this is you kind of just resting, trying to have like very low key, you know, maybe like coming out of the holiday and, you know, you just want to rest and kind of do some things around the house and just take some time for you. This is like energy kind of like where, you know, you're regaining your energy. You are kind of like replenishing yourself. You are focusing on you, your heart, the things that you love, the people that you love, the people that you know you want to be around. And this is like just giving yourself a break because, you know, you've been working really, really hard and you have like a lot of responsibilities and I feel like you have a lot of things that um, you're trying to kind of juggle around and make work and, um, you know, you've been dealing with some things that, you know, are laying kind of heavy on your heart and your mind and, you know, you kind of feel like maybe a little bit burnt out. So this is like you going back to you, relaxing, taking time for you, taking time to process things um, and not feeling guilty about it in any way, shape or form. Because I feel like sometimes you feel guilty if you slow down or you rest or you just have a day where you, you know, hang around in bed or on the couch. So I'm feeling like have a day like that, Cancer, and don't feel guilty about it, okay? All right, let's see what else do you need to know. So we have regain your focus and um, I feel like a lucky number is going to be 27. Trivial life matters are distracting you from your goals. Archangel Metatron and I are here to help you stay grounded. So Archangel Metatron and Archangel Michael. So I feel like this is again reinforcing this card like to take the time you need for you. Um, because I also feel like there's some ongoing things in your life that are kind of trivial, are kind of like plaguing to you or problems that you're like, why is there no solutions to these problems? Why do I have to keep dealing with this? Why do I have to keep dealing with this person? Why do I have to keep doing this? Um, I feel like there's just a lot going on around you and a lot that could be distracting. So I feel like only focus on the things that you know are like going to produce something. Only focus on the things that you know appreciate your energy. Um, and I also feel like you do want things to kind of speed up, but there's just something with like divine timing for you. Um, because if it came now, it's the wrong time. It, if that makes any sense. Um, I know that's not always the best thing to hear, but I feel like when we really do kind of like wait for divine timing or like accept that things kind of start to feel less challenging. It takes our attention away from just focusing on the challenges, the challenges, the obstacles, the obstacles, and then we can focus more on the solutions and clearing some of those away and seeing a clearer path and seeing like, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, cause I do feel like sometimes you're confused, but I feel like you can call upon your angels, your angelic team. They're there for you. They want to help you. They want to help you understand things better, um, like in a psychic way. So pay attention to downloads that might be coming in. Um, but yeah, they're around you. Change is definitely coming. It's just a matter of like divine timing. The things that you want to see can manifest. You just have to kind of like try to tap into the law of attraction and know that you deserve the best to come. Um, there's been a lot of healing for you, so that might be something um, to keep working on. All right, one last message. Let go of the old tales and write your own adventure story. So yeah, I feel like you might be letting go of like negative experiences, like past negative people, things that were like toxic to your soul. And this is like you rewriting things and kind of like writing the future how you want it to be. Check back next week, Cancer. Love and light.